What is going on guys? So I wanted to uh, do this update video for you guys because um, if you've been following me for a little bit, you'll know that I took a little bit of break from the scale. Um, I have not weighed myself in about a month. And really the reason for that was because I was doing Journey to Wonderland and I just started to really like overstress and overanalyze everything that I did and everything that I ate and really started to get anxiety um, surrounding that. So I just said, you know what, I've, I've, I've got to take a break. I've got to give myself um, a little bit of a break and not give myself such a hard time about this whole thing. Uh, so I didn't weigh myself and I said, you know what, I'm not going to weigh myself until Thanksgiving. And last week was Thanksgiving. So the, on Wednesday, the day before, I stepped on the scale and uh, I, a month ago, I weighed in at 220 pounds. It was a weight that I had kind of just been stuck at for a while. I got down to like 218 and then back up. Um, and so when I got on the scale last week, I weighed in at 224 pounds. So um, that's a four pound gain in a month. Uh, I will say that I think at least one to two of those pounds uh, was water weight, um, but even so, that means that's still a two to three pound weight gain for the month. Now, here's the thing, like right when I stopped weighing myself, I did my measurements. And then on Wednesday when I weighed myself, I did my measurements again. And in the past month, I've lost a total of six inches. So I've, while I've gained one to two pounds, I've lost six inches. So I don't know, like I can't say that I'm totally like, sad about it, upset about it, disappointed in myself. I can't say that because honestly, like workout wise, you guys have seen my videos. You guys know that my workouts are just on point. I'm doing very well. I'm keeping up with my programming, um, but my food has not been on point. And uh, I haven't like super binged or just kind of like thrown caution to the wind, but I will say it's been pretty dirty. It hasn't been the best. Um, so I can't be too mad at myself and can't be too upset about it. And I also don't really know how I feel about it because while I've lost, like while I've gained weight, I've lost inches. So that's kind of uh, what's been going on. That's an update on that. Um, so I've decided that I'm not gonna weigh myself until Christmas. So another month from now of no scale. Uh, I will be doing my measurements. Um, then as well just to kind of keep keep that going and keep seeing that um, and then also to give you guys an update on journey to wonderland I'm sure some of you may be wondering what's going on with that um, I'm gonna be honest with myself and honest with you guys uh, I don't know how much control I can have on the holidays like Christmas is my absolute favorite holiday ever and there's lots of friends and family and food and festivities and all of that and I can't say that like I'm gonna hit Wonderland during the winter time like I can't say like during the holidays like it's gonna be an amazing weight loss time for me and it may never be that way just because of the time of year and and just all the stuff surrounding it so um journey to Wonderland probably will not start back up until January uh, but I do plan to start it back up so don't worry it will come back um and then another thing that I kind of learned over Thanksgiving was, um, I guess re-realized over Thanksgiving is that I need to stay away from processed foods. Uh, so several years ago, I started getting reactions to things that I ate. And at first it started off as like my eye kind of swelling and I'm just getting really bright red. And then after a few years, it was like my lips burned and my lips were like purple. Um, now it's it's back to where my face is really flushed and red and it kind of feels like a sunburn. Um, and it, when it's really bad, it feels like my entire face is just completely burnt. So I've had allergy tests like three times, one of which is was a blood test, which is supposed to be more accurate and all of them showed up with nothing. So the only thing that I can think of is that maybe it's something in processed foods because when I eat clean and I am, you know, like I'm not eating like a bunch of processed foods. I don't have any reactions. When I go back to eating processed foods and I eat them over a longer period of time, meaning a week to two weeks or longer, that's when I start to have reactions. So over Thanksgiving, um, there was something 
that I ate um, for Thanksgiving that just gave me a reaction, made me feel really sick, kind of dizzy, not myself. Um, face felt like I had a sunburn. And so um, I definitely am going to go back to, to cleaner eating. So while I'm not like super watching everything that I eat, I'm definitely going to try to eat a whole lot more uh, clean, especially over the holidays. So that is a little update on... Um, on how things are going, on what's going on with my food. I will say that I think the relationship that I had and the way that I think about it is getting better. Um, you know, the the need to just like eat everything in sight or, or whatever is not necessarily there. So I don't know if it was just because I felt like I was like restricting myself for so long that I just went crazy or what was going on, but um, I definitely feel a lot better about my relationship, but over the holidays, I'm not going to super stress about it. So that's, that's what it is. I just wanted to be honest with you guys about how things are going food wise, workout wise, everything's great. Um, and you'll continue to see that, but food is not necessarily going to be, um, hundred percent on point all the time during the holidays, but we'll be more clean. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much like comment and subscribe remember guys keep going keep pushing and keep believing i'll talk to you guys later